Salesforce is a great way to store all of the contacts your nonprofit regularly engages with. But sometimes it's also useful to know which constituents should be excluded from engagement in the future. Let's say a contact has reached out and asked to not be contacted any further for any reason. Navigate to the contact record and select the Do Not Contact checkbox. Select Save. In this example, Kim Broussard is marked as Do Not Contact. As you can see, checking the Do Not Contact field also selected the Do Not Call and Email Opt Out fields, saving you some steps. If you find out that a contact has passed on, the Nonprofit Success Pack can help you ensure future discretion is taken. Navigate to the contact record and select the Deceased checkbox. Select Save. As you can see, the Nonprofit Success Pack automatically checks the Do Not Contact, Do Not Call, and Email Opt Out fields. It's a best practice to add Do Not Contact as a filter on all reports you use for communications. This will ensure that anyone who has opted out of all communication is excluded. In this example, the Holst and Brady household changes to the Holst household. Formal greeting changes from Jasmine Holst and Juan Brady to Jasmine Holst, and informal greeting changes to Jasmine. One thing to note, if the deceased contact is the only member of a household or all other members of the household are also deceased, the household name will not change. For example, if I now mark Jasmine Holst as deceased, her Do Not Contact fields will still update, but the household name will not change. For more information, refer to the Nonprofit Success Pack documentation. Thanks.